And it's gotta be Sentimental's project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers Hello everyone And welcome again to another episode of Color Commentary Where we give you views from a different side I was gonna do a Rashad impression But I decided <laughs> I decided at against it at the last moment. I decided not to do this Rashad impression. <laughs> uh, but you know what it is. It's your boy Danny J. Quick uh, with Ace Blade in the gang. And since I'm hosting, you know that I didn't get to watch the movie. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> we are again this week to review uh, the Predators. So this is the sixth, the sixth movie in the Predator series, if you count. Um, Alien vs. Predator, and I recently found out that they actually have uh, novels and comic books out. Um, I think it's uh, not Short Fuse, but um, Boom Comics uh, or Dark Horse Comics. Dark Horse, that, uh, Dark Horse produces a, a series of Predator comic books and uh, and novels, so that's pretty cool. I probably would never read them. I don't care that much about Predator, but um, that's cool to know. Like I said, I didn't get a chance to uh, to go watch the movie. Hurricane Flo came came through and uh, kind of derailed all my plans for the weekend, even though it was just a light breeze here in my area. But my lovely two co-hosts, they both saw the movie. So <laughs> let's bring them. Let's uh, see what they uh, what they thought about it. What's what's up, Chuck? How you doing there? Did, did did you get much rain? Did you get much wind? How you feeling? I'm feeling very lovely. You know. I I appreciate the compliment. Me, my hair back. Yeah, show my good side. Nah, yeah, that was uh, we got rain. I think we're still getting some rain. Um, I'm not mad that we didn't get a lot. I didn't want to have to deal with a whole bunch of power outages or anything like that. I'm sorry for all the folks that did get hit hard. Hopefully everything works out and great for them. We'll be praying for them. Um, hopefully the system will go ahead and get on out of here so we start. You know, getting these flood wars down. But uh yeah, I got to check it out. Um but but no real quick, I'm here with KFH Party Easy. We do parties of all kinds. So I I I enjoy all the uh well most of the Predator and the Alien movies. So, you know, I, I, I'm pretty good pretty I say I'm a pretty decent fan. I'm not a big one, but you no, know, I'm decent. So you know I, I got I got my thoughts about the movie. I I don't I don't think it was horrible. I can say that. What about you? Mr. Rashad, looking down. Yeah, I'm looking down in, in disgust, man. This is, of course, Rashad with Block Band Music and Publishing, where we sell music and instruments to marching bands across the nation. And uh, yeah, I saw the movie, man. I just, as you can see, I'm not dressed up in any. Look, look at what I'm wearing. Just look at, just look at my. <laughs> I have on a shirt <laughs> and a jean <laughs> and glasses. That is what I'm wearing for this horrible. Terrible movie. What's the name of that that children's book? The really bad, terrible, horrible day. <laughs> I think that the name of it. Yeah, that describes this movie. I've, this, this, let's get it over with. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, so the uh, the 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 first Predator movie I think came out in uh, 1987. Is that 87. right? Yeah. 1987. Mm -hmm. Two years after I was born. Ten years after Rashad was born. And. Uh, uh, it was uh, it was pretty good. That first one, that yes. first one, and the second Get one. Get to the really chopper. Get to the chopper. We got to get the out. And that uh, the second one, or was it the first one with with um, Danny Creed? Glover? No, not Danny Glover. Which one was the one with the guy who played Creed, and they did the super handshake, like they had the the strongest. That's, oh, that's the that first was one. On the first, that was on the first one. Yeah, okay. first one. Yeah, they had just, all the action. They had all the action stars on that one. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I I wanted to go back and watch the the first couple of ones, but I couldn't. They weren't on Netflix or or Amazon Prime or anything. So uh, uh, go to HBO. They got them yeah, on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I wanted to watch them, but I'm glad that I didn't because I feel like it would have ruined the movie for me. I'm hearing a lot of bad things about it, but I kind of want to still go see it. So I'm trying to get you two guys to convince me either to go see it or just to stay home. So, Chuck, since I heard that you liked the movie, how would you say that the movie won? I think, I mean, I guess the way I would put it, it was it was an entertaining movie. You know, it it had, you know, 
it wasn't a very complex plot. It was more, you know, hey, you know, there's an alien issue here. We got some special task force type of thing, the secret society here that's been monitoring them. And then we have the 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 civilians that are kind of caught in the crossfire and it's a whole little thing. It's kind of the basic one that most a lot of movies use. But you know, I, I didn't have a problem with it. I mean, it didn't it was funny. It had some had some comic relief in it. Um the definitely the large predator, like seeing that the big, I guess, soup souped up predator. Like he was he was a beast. Like he was just ripping dudes heads off and stuff. Like mm -hmm. I guess he doesn't he must be bulletproof because he took a lot of shots and did not fix him. So uh he like seeing seeing that predator, I was like, wow, he he's a problem. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> would have had wouldn't want to be able to do nothing with this predator. So I you even saw I mean, if you make the regular predator look like a little kid and he just be smacking him around and ripping his head apart. I'm like, okay, we got some issues with this one. So, you know, it's kind of seeing that, you know, seeing the, the uh, it kind of goes back with like the, I guess, the top um, army sniper unit people, you know, going against Predator. So, you know, you kind of seeing that like some uh, army group of, I guess, is really like misfits. That's the one thing that's kind of was kind of comical to see like this was the people that they were, that the bad people that they were crazy in the army that they were trying to get rid of. And those are the ones that actually end up, you know, having to fight the predator and save everybody. Um, it definitely has some, that don't make no sense moments in it. I mean, <laughs> those kind of have to just go past that. Don't, don't go in there thinking like, this is going to be like predator, like the first predator or even the second. Just, it's not going to make any sense that much. Just go have a good time. See some explosions, see him kill a lot of people, see some, Weird looking predator dogs that predator I dogs. They, had a, they yes. I don't really think they had a great part in the movie. Those are kind of my weaker points of the movie. But um, you know, it was a, it was a decent ride. I I, I kind of stayed into it throughout the whole movie. I couldn't really find myself like dozing off or looking looking at my phone or anything like that. I, I stayed in tune, and uh, you know, it was a pretty good movie. Graphics were good. I give it I give it a, a good a good watch. Yeah, okay. watch. I wouldn't say it's it's great. It's great. It's not great, but it's no, it's not horrible. Okay. Uh, so you got me with Super Predator. You know, uh, the big predator making the making the regular predators look like babies, and you got me with Predator Dogs. That's something new. I think on the um, not the last one that came. Yeah, the last one that came out. They had some kind of animals. They were on a the planet when they had the group of um, they had the group of people out there um trying to survive on the Predator homeworld. Right? Wasn't that, was that the last one or the one before the last? I can't remember. Uh, that was the last one. The predators. Yeah, I kind of I kind of like that one. And uh, they had some 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 weird animals on that one, I believe. So that's pretty cool. That's interesting. Uh, uh, Rashad, can you do you have anything that uh that that, <laughs> you, that you would say about the movie or that it won in any way? Pass. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No, there was things. There were some things. Um, actually, the movie is actually pretty funny. Uh, believe it or not, it's weird because initially it seems like unintentionally funny. More like, like let's say, like a Civil War. Like it's a serious movie, but it's got funny things that happen in it. You know, it feels like that initially, but then eventually it gets to the point where you realize, no, this movie is actually funny. And there were a lot of good points in there, man. It's like um. <laughs> Key, you know, uh, Key uh, Keegan was in there. Or Keegan Key, he was in there. He said something about what's the difference between uh, five black men and uh, uh, don't say that uh, one. Don't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> don't oh, say that God. one. It I was hilarious. Was like, oh, uh, well, you want to know what it means? I was like, <laughs> yes um that was just that it was a lot of it, basically when they got to the bus scene and you could see all the misfits as charlie mentioned uh, uh labeled them as that that scene was pretty funny and then when they got to the uh to the hotel room and they were betting to see what olivia munn was gonna do <laughs> like i told you i told y'all she was gonna that get was the gun funny. i told y'all that, that was hilarious up. I told you she was gonna get the gun, and then he right. shot the gun. You owe me such and such. Like, that was good. I had me rolling. I should have been on that one too. I should have been on that. And then when she came back, and she was like, um, "Yeah, 
you know, they call it the predator, and it, because of this, he's like the predator. No, nah, that's like a um, that's more like a game hunter. She's like, that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually pretty funny. <laughs> um, the Super Predator, yes, the Super Predator is awesome. The fact that his mug is 11 feet tall and he's just towering over the regular size Predator, which is already huge. Like, that was pretty awesome. And really, the best part of the movie, I really like uh, Travante Rhodes, who played Nebraska Williams. Uh, other than the fact that he was smoking a cigarette all the time, like 100% of the time. And that, it just kind of looked dumb sometimes when he was doing it. But I liked his character, but I really liked Sterling K. Brown. I don't know if you knew that he was in this or not, Danny, but yeah. his character, he stole the movie for me. There was one part where Olivia Munn was like talking some science gibberish and uh, because the, um, the DNA of the Predator was mixed with the human. And she was like, okay, what you really want to know is who banged the Predator, right? He was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, there was one part when he was talking to um, the main character's uh, son, and he's like, my dad is going to come and save me. He's like, oh, your dad is going to come and save you, huh? <laughs> like, he was just, his character all the way through, like, he made, he, if there was any redeeming character uh, qualities about the movie, it, it was him. He was funny, but also, I liked him as a villain. But that's it. <laughs> so I don't know, know Rashad. You had a lot of goods there. You had. It seems like you really enjoyed the movie. Uh, I, I'm going to use up all of my time on the fails. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was just about to say that the match must have been really bad because you see, it really genuinely seemed like you enjoyed it uh, from what I was just hearing. So uh, I, I can't wait to hear what the negatives are. But we're going to go to Chuck first. Chuck, uh, you said that you enjoyed the movie. Right now, I feel like I want to go see it. Like I want to, you know, go and get in the car and brave the, brave the uh, the weather out there and, and go see it. But um, tell me, how did the movie feel? What What do you think? It just, <laughs> I guess, the biggest thing that it felt to me, it just kind of like just smashed. I guess piece the me the movie just didn't flow at all. It was more like it was very chopped up. It was like you had. At the beginning, when um, I, I guess I don't really want to tell you all the movie, but kind of like when when the when the first predator shows up and takes out the guy's thing, and then like and, and he he has the equipment and he mails it to his house. I mean, I know he mails it to a PO box first, but it's like he mails it to your where your family could possibly be. It's like that's that I don't know. I just thought that was like why would you do that? You know, that's like gonna be like the first place they're going to go. You know and. Mm -hmm. Even if it's an alien, they're going to go there, too, because they probably can track the crap that you just stole from the alien. Mm -hmm. So since you do that, it was like, I didn't really understand it. Uh, the kid, I understand he he was, you know, had some special needs or higher evolution is what they called him. But, I mean, just to easily grasp everything that easily, I'm like, he just turns it on, some magical codes, and he's magically just understands all the gibberish that's on the screen. I don't mm -hmm. know. I was he had no problem with that. Like, he's been training for this forever. I was like, <laughs> he was like, oh, even by the end of the movie, he got himself a job doing it. I'm like, so all, the, all these kids that have, you know, certain, I guess, quote unquote, disabilities, they can really just see everything in alien terms and break it down in codes. I, I guess. I, I, I don't know. They, they kind of just kind of just push that on us pretty quickly. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, he had this one thing that, he was in the school. He was like crying because the alarm clock, the alarm, the fire alarm was going off. And then like these bullies came in and he was like, yeah. and then he, they left him alone, but they knocked over the chess pieces. And then he like gets up and he puts all the chess pieces back together. I guess that was the moment that we were supposed to know, oh, he's really, he knows where everything goes. No, he, he has some very special abilities or something. I guess that was their, their only thing that they really let us know that he was very smart and, could figure out you no know, alien technology like that. Um, also, one thing that was kind of turned me was kind of weird. The kid had put on the the mask, right? He has one scene. He puts on the mask, goes trick or treating, and I guess one of the people in the by, home by by himself. Yes, by himself. Yeah, so he was gonna go trick or treating by himself, <laughs> and he goes down there, and I guess the guy. It sounded like he was yelling at the bullies. Something about them. To me, I thought he was throwing something at the bullies. I made like they throw something at the house or something. 
But then the 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 helmet just pulls a gun bomb a gun out a gun and just blows up the house like nothing what? like just blows the dude up yes. like I'm like he just killed that guy like the guy wasn't even throwing that to him but I guess it it thought it was he was in danger and a, a gun just comes out and blows up the house and I don't know he his that whole scene to me was like okay I don't get this I don't know what's going on. Like yeah. that didn't seem like it worked the, correctly. The kid, the kid was good with it. He was okay with that. Okay, that was the thing. Like he was like breathing hard. Like oh my gosh, he was like, I'm gonna go get some more candy. I'm gonna go to my special spot at the at the stadium. You know, walk around and look. Dogs walk up to me and stuff. So yeah, it it is those type of moments in there. You're like, what is happening right now? Why did they just have like some extra time and they just want to write something that didn't make no sense in here? <laughs> to kind of make the movie so you will find that in there, and it fell quite hard on the on, on that. <laughs> um, the what's the girl's name? Olivia oh. Munn. Her, her okay, actual her name. Character. Oh, I don't, I don't really care for her character that much. I mean, she was like, I just didn't really understand why she was there. So for be be honest, like she kind of came in. Just like she's some scientist, or she works as a college professor, and then she shows up, and she's in the in the know now. But like they just went and grabbed her, and they needed her for some reason. But they didn't really explain to us why they really needed her. I guess maybe I missed that part of the movie. She was just and she, there, and then the predator. And she didn't say a word everybody. when they grabbed her. They literally picked her up, and she was like, "Yeah, somebody's gonna take your dog they, from you. Come with us." I'm like, "Oh, okay." I'm like, "Well, that doesn't <laughs> seem right." She didn't even say that. Like, she did some better reactions. The reactions <laughs> to situations changing was ridiculous. Even with the wife, like the husband walks in, he's been going off a tour, and she already comes. She don't say, "Oh my gosh, it's good to see." You. She's like, "Oh, thanks for coming home." Like he's like just been at the bar all night or something. Like the dude been on tour for like a couple years now, and you just he just walk in the house, you didn't even embrace him, you didn't say nothing. You just already go straight B mode on the man. I'm like, dang. Like, thanks for finally showing up. I'm like, <laughs> wow, that doesn't seem very realistic. Um, so yeah, it, it it has a lot of faulty parts in it like that. Like I said, if you don't, if you kind of jump over those little hurdles, the movie's okay. But if you want to look at those hurdles, the movie's gonna like you're gonna strangle somebody that's near you, and you're <laughs> like, what is going on with this with this movie right here? Show me the big predator again. Have him kill the little predator, and that and that'll make you feel better. Pretty much, mm, I don't know. That's a <laughs> uh, I like for my movies to make sense, but I will say that so far, you're, you're saying that everything that I thought was going to happen is happening because then the previews I mean, the, the graphics for the actual movie, like the poster was dope. Where you got the big predator hand holding the, the, the small predator head. Uh, so as long as I get enough of big predator on little predator, uh, predator on predator <laughs> violence. <laughs> no, that's about a minute and a half of that. No, it's, it's not that much. That they don't fight that long. Oh, it's not much of a fight. <laughs> I, I, get, I guess I could put that on my dislikes. Yeah, he doesn't last that long in the movie, and uh, he makes sure he doesn't last by by having this scene right here mm -hmm. when he's doing it. Yeah, that come that that comes to fruition on the movie. Oh, pretty so pretty good. Pull <laughs> so that sucker right off. He came in there and went Darth Vader on him. He said, all right, let me go ahead and, and go get through this real quick. And, yeah. you know, ain't going to be no fighting. Okay, well, I'm going to lean back on my chair here because it's Rashad's turn. And he <laughs> was talking about this movie was horrible ever since uh, he came out of the theater. So, uh, Rashad, the floor is yours. Uh, how did the movie fail? I only have two things to say about this movie as far as problems. Number one, it was a cash grab. It's all that it was. It's like they took the, the name of the, of the film, they took the form of the Predator, they took the music of the Predator, and they just said, oh, yeah, we can make some money off of this without really bringing anything original to it. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's like oh, let's just make some money off of this. Like, they were, like when the movie started, they were using the Predator music so much. And I'm like, why are we hearing the Predator, like, Let's let this movie be its own movie. Why would just, oh, let's use this music because that's going to make you feel suspenseful when it's not a suspenseful scene. Do your own thing. Be original. It was just, it was just a cash grab. And they did exactly what I thought they were going to do. People think of The Predator as an action movie because it is. And so that's what they did. They made an over-the-top action movie. But the problem is, 
Predator, the original one, is such a good movie, not because of the action, but because of the suspense. Because you have these huge guys with huge guns going into the jungle, and they don't have a clue of what's going on and why they're getting murdered. There's so much suspense. Even in the second one, Danny Glover is like, what the heck is happening? You know? In this movie, there's none. Of, there's no suspense in this movie whatsoever. It's just action, 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 action. It's just it doesn't have anything to do with the legacy of the actual Predator movies. Okay, but away from that, this movie just makes no doggone sense at all. There's no logic in this movie at all. Let me see if I can rattle it out. First of all, the dude's main name. Uh, the main character's name is McKenna, okay? He's a sniper. So the first thing you do is you see him about to snipe a dude. You see uh, the, air, the, um, the alien aircraft coming, crashing down. He looks back, he kills the guy, and he has to get out of the way to make sure the aircraft uh, doesn't hit him. What the heck happened to the people that got shot? I've been watching, I've been, uh, on your word, uh, Danny, I've actually been watching, um, what's the name of that show? Shooter. I've been watching the TV series Shooter. And one thing that I see in every time, if you're sniping, they're going to come after you. They're going to try to find out who you are. So I'm like, okay, the Mexican cartel is going to show up somewhere in the next 15 minutes because he just killed one of their guys. And an uh, alien craft just came down, and they're going to be like, what the heck happened there? Nope. Okay. Second thing, the alien, the first thing he does is he just slaughters a guy and hangs him from the tree. That's not what the alien does. He's a he is a, a trophy hunter. He doesn't just he's not just a mass murderer. <laughs> I mean, just, he just hangs him for a tree for no reason. Now that doesn't have. When I was watching, I was like, that doesn't make anything. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't seem like something the, the the predator would do. Then you find out at the end of the movie, the whole point of the movie was that the predator was coming to give us something to help us. <laughs> so why did he slaughter? He slaughtered like 15 people, <laughs> brutally did. murdered them. There was one scene, and this was awesome, actually. He picked up this guy, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and he just sliced them to pieces. <laughs> How does that make sense? Oh, my gosh. Okay. There's a there's a scene that Charlie mentioned it in the uh, there's a scene where the kid is in the room with the with the chess club right there's a fire drill and everybody leaves why did the, why would the teacher leave the most obviously noticeable kid in the classroom in you there <laughs> leave Good the job. autism that's making sounds you wouldn't be like oh I just overlooked him that would be the one kid that you wouldn't overlook why would you leave him in the classroom. <laughs> Why does the postman come up to the door and talk to the kid about why his um uh, his box <laughs> is so and so here? Oh, well, his post office box is overdue. Why are you talking to this child? He never what? once said, "Is your mom here?" No, he said, "Hey, you know, uh, McKenna is he here? Well, his post office box is past due." What? This? Oh my God! Okay. There's in the scene where Olivia Munn, this is one of the things that, that killed it for me. Olivia Munn is able to keep pace running. She's like right behind the predator. Okay. This mug is seven feet tall. He's a beast. Like he's huge. And he has a head start on her. And she's right behind him. I looked it up. She's five foot four. Mm -hmm. How? How is this possible? In the she first that, predator she, movie, she, the she mug that was black widow that they laid down suppressing fire that knocked out the whole jungle and hit nothing, but she can keep up with him? How does that make sense? Okay, then, by the way, she's a scientist. If, the, if she could do that, they could at least say, hey, I've been training, showing her to do some push-ups, something. No. Then, <laughs> jumps on a moving bus. A, a what? No, no timer, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay why would she jump on a moving and she was able to hold on all right the next thing okay the government operative operatives hire her right to help them right okay then right after that they try to kill her what but you hired her you literally hired her to do the job of helping you to find out and then she's chasing after the predator to kill her and it's like oh yeah kill her 
Why? Why does that make sense? Okay, there was another scene in there where dude is looking for his son, right? And he knows his son goes to the baseball field. But he hasn't seen his son. He drives through the fence onto the baseball field to get to his son. Why would you do that? You could have <laughs> killed your son. You don't have you don't know where your son is. You could have been, oh, where's my son at? Oh, I just I just ran him over. <laughs> Then they got these predator dogs, and they shot one of them in the head. The only thing it did is it started acting like a puppy, and it contributed nothing to the movie from there on out. Like, I thought it was going to show up and bite somebody or bite the predator. It did. only thing it did is it showed up, it put his head down, and dropped a grenade out of his mouth. He was always dropping bombs out of his mouth. Like, where did he get these bombs from? <laughs> Just, like, constantly dropping a bomb out. What the heck? Charlie, you mentioned the loud noise thing. I had forgotten about that. Like, the kid, he can't take loud noises. So later on in the movie, I can't remember where it is, but it's, like, the loudest noise in, like, the whole movie. And everybody's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And the kid's like, huh, that's kind of that's painful a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot. He forgot he couldn't take loud noise. Hey, but what happened to, Je to, uh, to, to Sterling K. Brown? His death was so pitiful. What happens then is he has the predator gun on his shoulder, right? And the, the predator gun is like, you know, shooting around and stuff. And apparently there's like something to shoot over here. So the predator gun turns towards his head and blows it off. But it happens That's so what happened to him. fast. That's it what happened to him. So, huh? That's what happened to him. I was looking at like, what the heck happened to him? Like, the yeah. Saw him with the gun. And I was like, well, maybe he just left and he went to go regroup or something but he didn't show up anymore in the movie i was like well, man, i missed him dying or something right <laughs> <laughs> to me, it, it wasn't so bad that that's how they killed him but the fact that it happened so fast and he's the main he's the main antagonist in the whole movie and they killed him in three seconds and you don't you don't even have a chance to see that's what happened it's like boom and then you go to the next scene <laughs> Wait, so he was the, you said he was the anti he was the bad guy yeah, yeah, he, but he teams up he with the he teams up with them at the end. Oh. So he can help fight the big one because they want a ship for their technology because of global warming. Oh, <laughs> That's right, because of global warming. <laughs> that makes sense. I get I get two more things, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down and shut up here. Okay. They lit up the Terminator, I mean the Predator. They lit this mug up. I mean, they were nailing Like in the first Predator, again, he was able to escape the bullets and things like that. Uh-uh. They were lighting him up with machine guns. They put that mug on fire. They stabbed him, and he, got, he was unfazed by all of this. All of a sudden, Olivia Munn shows up out of nowhere and shoots him in the back of the head. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And then here's, here's the coup de grace. Here's the thing that was the stupidest thing in the entire movie. So Keegan, Kill, Keegan Key is in this, and there's another guy that's in this movie. The other guy gets thrown into a tree, Punisher. and he's just hanging from the tree, huh? The old huh? Punisher, the first Punisher. The fir oh, really? That's who that was? Yeah, that's who he is, the first Punisher. Oh, okay. Well, the first Punisher was thrown into a tree, and he's just hanging there, right? And he's going to die. Uh, Keegan Key has been his insides have been blown apart so he's about to die so they look at each other and they're like yeah and they shoot each other in the head <laughs> from 30 feet away at the exact same time and as i watched it i was like this is something that would actually happen on a key and peel episode this <laughs> Is the most ridiculous movie i have seen this year we've seen some bad movies Action was great. It was funny, but this movie makes no sense at all. I'm done. Oh man! Well, uh, I think you had the, the 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 opposite effect on me, there, Rashad. I actually really want to go see it now. <laughs> 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 all of that stuff you just said, like I, I'm intrigued. I want to see if I can figure out what they were trying to do. Um, I want to see the double head shot. I really want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds awesome, <laughs> um, but yeah, like this, like I, I feel like I'm getting uh, pieces of Suicide Squad with the group, like the group of mit misfits, mm -hmm. um, Angley's Hulk with um, the 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 Predator dogs because the Hulk had the Hulk dogs, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you know, 
it's a it's a bunch of bunch of things I see. I feel like they're pulling from, but I want to see it. Like I, I want to check it out. I think I've seen all of them to date. So um, if I don't go see it, I'm. It, how, was it? What was it like online? Phil? was it was it a good copy? Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a bad copy. It was well, okay. I might. It's dark. It, it is dark. That's one <laughs> thing I can say about the movie. Like they on the other Predator movies, like at least the first one, like it wasn't in the dark that much. They were just in the jungle. So it was like a lot more stealth mode. Like on all the rest of the Predator movies after that, they always make it really dark. I don't really see why because he can go invisible. So mm -hmm. it would kind of be kind of pointless just to be in the dark all the time. Like he can go invisible. So he should be able to kill people during daytime. No, it, it was pointless for him to go invisible because I don't remember a single scene where he was invisible and they couldn't see him. Like <laughs> every time, time. Every time they were invisible was when the dude went invisible. No, he, he was, was killing. He was killing that. Yeah, yeah. Just I don't know. I mean, I'm still I'm still gonna check it out. I'll look if it's a good copy. I hate I hate watching online, but if it's a good copy, I might have to check it out the night before I go to sleep. Um, I don't know what. So all in all, give me your give me your final thoughts on the movie. Tell me if people should watch this movie. If I should watch this movie, and uh, give me your closing thoughts for tonight. Uh, Chuck, you first. I think if you've watched all the other Predator movies, then go support them. Just because the more you support them, the more you'll get, you know, hopefully better quality movies in the future. Um, it looks like they're doing a big reboot with the Aliens. I know, uh, is Disney, did Disney buy them too with Fox? Mm -hmm. Was that part of Fox deal? So they got a whole world of cool things that, you know, can, can work. They can make good movies, but they just need help. So... You know, maybe you just <laughs> if you got some extra money, you just want to go to the, <laughs> to the movie, give them some extra, extra little boost here. Like, hey, hopefully, y'all do better on the next ones. Get some real stars. Just call the rock. I mean, I mean, this movie's just dying for the rock to be in it against the predator. I mean, I don't know why that's taking so long. Of course, and then it would sell and it would be a hit, but just throw them in there. You know, I'm just throwing mm -hmm. that out. Throw the rock, Dwayne rock Johnson. They could that even been a good idea, actually. They could even call it The Rock versus the Predator, and I would yes. go see. Yes, that's that was gonna be perfect. Like, just happen with the muscles and everything, just killing it. That'd be nice. Right. Yeah, like, that's true. That's a good idea. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's it for me. I will talk to you guys next time. Deuces. What about you, Rashad? Uh, give me your last, your last final thoughts, if you have any. Uh, any uh, any more shots that you want to take at the movie? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I've slashed it enough, but um, I'm actually exactly the opposite uh, in the fact that if you've seen the other Predator movies, I think it's a, particularly if you've seen one and two, there's a good chance that you won't like this movie at all because it does such a disservice to those first two movies. If you've never seen any of the Predator movies, you might actually like it. And I, even though I hated it, I could see how people might like this movie because it is funny and it does have a lot of action. If you go to a movie and you don't care that it makes sense, if you just want to be entertained, then you probably you might like this movie. But my personal opinion, I don't for me, if you take my money or my time, I want you to make sense. And I can't stand a movie that does not make sense. And this movie makes no darn sense at all. I almost said a cussy wordy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kelsey, so, wow. well, um, well now we so know as far, as far as me um, of course I, I'm also a part of um, the marching podcast where we review uh, marching bands uh, every Monday so make sure to, to check me out on that as, as well where we are talking uh, Danny told me that uh, color commentary was, was my side <laughs> my side piece <laughs> since I did that one first <laughs> But yeah, make sure to check us out on, on Mondays where we talk about all your favorite marching bands. There's some great ones out there. And again, this is uh, Rashad with Block Band. Peace. Now we know why, uh, why Rashad has, hasn't been having luck with the ladies. He wants stuff to make sense. And uh, we all know. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. You're going to get some comments for that one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> is that what's happening? Like a, a month into relationship, this don't make no sense. I can't, I can't, I can't be part of this. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> Rashad, just wake up. Rashad just wake up one day. That don't make no sense. I'm out. <laughs>
Oh, okay. Well, uh, that was our show, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you with, uh, sticking around with us for this uh, 45 minutes. Um, like Rashad always says, look down, in, <laughs> look down in the description and you can see our playlist. We've seen, uh, we've covered all of the major movies this year. So uh, we've, uh, we, we've been consistent and we've been doing it and we're going to, we're going to keep doing it. I don't, what's next week? Do we got anything for next week? Y'all know I never know. Uh, night school. Night school. Okay. Yeah. Night so we get a comedy, uh, Kevin Hart and uh, what's her name? Tiffany Haddish. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll check out night school next week. And we'll let you know what we thought of that. Um, um, but as always, we want you to to do what, Rashad? Subscribe to survive. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> the dark night over here. That's, that's the predator. That's the predator. The predator. The predator. <laughs> predator talk in the movie. Predator talk. Yeah. At at the end, he says. Uh, he says, "Who are you?" And the predator says, "I'm something, something." And he said, "Shut up!" Bow. <laughs> <laughs> the predator. Spoke. The predator spoke in the movie. I, it's, I, it's, it's his, the software was translating it. It, it was funny oh. though. It was hilarious. Okay, okay. I'm about to say. I was about to. I, I could. I could not. But anyway, the predator, the predator talks in every movie. He always says at least one or two things. But not in English, though. Not like you yes. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In every single Predator movie I've seen, he always said, well, at least in the first two, he'll say, you know, like when uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger called him, like, you're one ugly mother. Like, he said that back to him at the very end. Did he? Yeah. Maybe he did say that. That sounds familiar. I'm doing it. See, I got to do a Predator marathon now. Got to catch it. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Color Commentary, where we give you views from a Predator side. Good night. Peace. And it's gotta be And it's gotta be That's the only